can go to what um, Elizabeth was talking about, you know, go to a, a meditation uh, retreat, you go, you can play music, go to art, artistic expression, sexual energy is an access point uh, to bliss, beauty, love, absolute extension of all your potentials, awakening. Right now when I meet a woman, a new lover, it's never about relationship. There is never a story around it. It's never, oh, shall we have kids together, or shall we... It's never about that. It's always about expansion of consciousness. It's always a big story. And the romantic dream of, that we traditionally have in our heads, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's like, it's still there in the background, but it doesn't really matter. What, what we are practicing is sexual activation. We activate each other through practices which are very specific. And one of the things is that, yes, I don't ejaculate. I don't lose semen. So if you are thinking of going that way, I encourage you to consider it. Try it. Try it for a month, then you try ejaculating again. Then you try for a month, and then you try ejaculating again. And you will see the difference. And then you go for what works for you. You know, right now I don't have a final answer. Like, I have lots of friends who are into Tantra, and some of them consciously ejaculate, consciously decide to lose semen. That's really up to you. I don't have a final answer for that. For the women, it is the same story. There is, there is a cycle. Another friend gave me that piece of information the other day, and he was saying that it takes 21 days for your energy level to go back to maximum after you ejaculate. It's not just one hour, it's not a few days. 21 freaking days! For the energy to build up back to your true potential. It means that if you are ejaculating, there is a chance that you are energy depleted all the time. That could be scoring way higher. So this is the, you know, for, for Tantra. Um, some of you also might realize in your sexual practices that at one point or another, you start really serving women in your sexual practices. It means that you approach them with this desire to serve the feminine, to honor them. So when you start going in that direction, that's Dhaka, Dhaka work. It means that you position yourself as a kind of uh, spiritual, sexual warrior who comes and helps them gain sexual freedom, sexual space, sexual healing. Lots of people out there who uh, are engaging into this kind of practices. <coughs> 